fan favorites, tips and tricks. You guys love them. All the ones today are ones that came from growers who sent pictures and videos in. So, here we go. This one comes from a grower in Alabama. So we're always talking about water and how important it is and water flow. So here's something. This picture is a picture of a screen from a regulator, but it's a regulator that regulates water coming into the house, which means it hits before the filter. And this screen actually catches, in fact, this picture shows some PVC shavings. Now, the interesting thing is the water source on this picture is a municipality. So if any of you have wells, it very well could be that you have a screen that may get clogged up from sediment reducing flow. And the interesting thing is most people don't know they have a screen in that regulator. This tip comes from a grower in North Carolina, and I've got a second one in there from South Carolina as well. So these pictures are from both. But I've seen many of you do this, have a have a magnet on a feed bin that kind of communicates to the driver, the truck driver, the feed driver, what needs to go where. So, as even as you see in some of these pictures, you know, you've got it labeled, but there's actually a place called cheapmagnets.com where you could get your own magnet and say whatever you want to. Uh, the girl from North Carolina actually had a magnet that says, no feed whatsoever, because they'd be like working on the bin at the time. So they don't want anything in there. So just a little tip of how you can communicate to your truck drivers. This tip comes from a grower in North Carolina. So get your typical Mountain Dew, Diet Mountain Dew, uh, Coke bottle, whatever. But when you're changing out your electrical um, plugs and things in a chicken house, one of the things you can do, and this picture uh, shows right here, is run that cord through the top of the cap and through there. And as you can see in the picture, then it will protect that plug from shooting it down water dust things like that just a little tip on how to kind of protect your your sockets and your and your outlets and things this tip comes from a different grower in south carolina now this one is about how to monitor things when you need an extra set of eyes so in this video you can see there they are loading out uh litter now, the problem is they've always had to have another guy standing on the truck or have a set of eyes to tell the driver when to move forward. But this is a self-contained uh, solar-powered video um, recorder just mounted right there on the edge of his uh, stack house, uh, litter shed, and it can tell the driver because it, the feed comes right to his iPad or phone that's sitting on the seat beside the trucker. So when he sees that it's time to move, then he can. So if there's ever a situation where you're like needing another set of eyes in a situation that's pretty consistent, um, you need somebody there, this is a great way. We'll put the link to it below of how you can get this unit. Doesn't cost very much, you can get it on Amazon. You growers always love these tips and tricks so hopefully these were some very helpful ones and i've already got some new ones for the next one but if you have any that you'd like to share with us please send them to me alan at southlandorganics.com or you can give me a call 1-800-608-3755 but send those in because people love them and there's some things maybe that you've learned that can help other growers so until then <music>